Hello everybody, it is Sunday, August 16th, and it is time for my weekly sketchbook review. Um, right away, uh, I have a couple things to say. Um, you may have noticed that the activity on my account has gotten pretty low. Um, a lot of that is due to the fact that my internet has been completely unstable again. Um, I put in a call to Comcast at the beginning of last week and they absolutely never showed up. So I have to try and get a hold of them again this week. Um, I'm fixing to go back for my um, semester review um, the beginning of next week and I have a couple more things I need to get done before I start up with school. Um, we got a lot of the yard work and things done today. I still have commissions to work on so as a result my weekly art vlogs and my daily art vlogs have definitely not been happening just because I don't have time to sit and monitor the um, upload and if I don't monitor the upload it tends to get corrupt. So until I get my internet fixed I'm just because I have to be able to step away for the upload like right now I'm, I'm willing to sit here tonight and watch the upload for my sketchbook reviews because to me that's more important and people are more interested in that than anything else um but yeah it should be fixed pretty soon and then I can start to get myself on a schedule of doing at least three art vlogs a week is kind of what I'm hoping for but it may end up just being a weekly thing just because um I'm starting to run out of time and I don't have a stockpile of art videos yet but that's something I plan to work on this week as well. So there's a lot of things I'm planning on working on until my internet's fixed and hopefully it'll allow for me to start having some consistency. But I will still be doing my weekly sketchbook reviews because I enjoy doing them. I like seeing the progress of work throughout the week and people seem very interested in them. So there's that. Um, second announcement being that I'm going to be starting school very, very, very soon. Um, and it's going to be my last two semesters and it's going to be pretty rough so I don't know what kind of sketching I'm going to be able to do but I'm hoping to get some in just because I see I, I've noticed uh, better schoolwork as I've been getting my creative side going along with everything so yeah so let's go ahead and get started with this um, First up is a sketch I did for part of a commission. I don't recall if I showed this last week or not, but I'm going to show it now. And this is a uh, chibi angel. Um, his name is Prosper, and he's from um, he's a original character from a an author named Krista Kind. And her book um, Pursuing Prissy is where is where he's mostly in. And I believe he appeared in another one. I'm not 100% sure because I, I haven't been able to keep up with everything that she writes. Because she writes daily um, on her website, which is uh, KristaKindOfWordPress.com. I think it's WordPress.com. Let me get there for you guys because, you know, I, I'll pimp her out. I love her writing. Yeah, KristaKind, all one word at wordpress.com um but anyway so she updates daily basically um you can always read something on her website that's lovely I, I i enjoy it so i'm doing this as a commission piece i'm doing her characters from her books so yeah and this is actually a continuation from last year because she commissioned me originally to do a set and then i had to stop for school and now i'm back into it for the summer and i'm hoping to continue going because i shouldn't be as busy this first semester as i was at the end of last semester and I just kind of want to get these chibis out of the way for her so again this is something I'm working on and it's what's been kind of interfering but again I have been live streaming an awful lot and I always put my Ustream stuff in my Facebook um, I always put it on my descriptions for all my videos and I always announce on Twitter I try to always remember to announce on Instagram and I usually announce on my Tumblr so you can follow me at any of those places and you can find out when I'm actually streaming and then you can come and join me um, in my Ustream and actually watch me work which I think is awesome um, and then this was another angel that she had commissioned I finished Prosper and then I finished, started working on this one, and this one's name is Loris. Uh, he's a weaver class. He's. I actually had originally done a sketch for this that I really disliked, and um, I redid it, and I'm much happier with it now. So, very happy with this. But his hair is very tricky because it's like um, braids, and it's woven in like a crazy fashion, but it kind of looks like a turban sort of thing. So. 
coming up with uh, designs for that was tricky, so I just kind of gave her some options that she could pick from. And ultimately we decided on a mixture of one and four here, but more mostly four. So I'm still working on this because the braids are so, excuse me, so incredibly detailed. And I just, I want to make sure it's something that's accurate and that she's going to enjoy. So I also drew a duck because ducks are serious business. And I started to get frustrated working on this because I do after a while um, when I work on commissions because it's not me sketching freely and that's where I feel like I'm my strongest. So I pulled out ye old sketchbook that I started forever ago and I just started doodling and um, my first page here is like a lot of Nega Piper. I got Nega Piper and Nega Trevor here. Um, they're very... Uh, callous pair very inappropriate and then I've got Nega Piper and Nega Lydia I imagine because I like had this thing set up in my mind where uh, as a vampire mommy she has to allow her baby to drink out of her along with like the milk and everything but she's not really a baby she's a little kid but they can't like get a full meal because they can't take down an adult meal or something like that so I just kind of made it to where she gets supplementary feedings from her mother still at a young age because she has to how else is she gonna eat and then just Nega Piper being a little hoe bag and you know that's how she rolls so it's a whole page this was fun like this only took a few minutes because like I've been itching to draw these two in human form for a long time I just never got around to it and human form like I said I tend to do a lot better because I'm just some, I'm better at it than I am at anything else so <laughs> okay there's actually a lot of sketches so this is gonna be a long video um Nega Piper before she turned into a vampire, uh, she had uh, gate crashed basically uh, the compound of another person's OC named Haru, like Nega Haru, whatever, and uh, basically just kind of made herself at home. And he didn't kick her out, so whatever, but she like crashes and steals his food and his bed and drinks all his wine, even though she's never had wine before. But when she shows up, she's like really nasty. I was going to draw like picture. I just didn't finish it. Of She's still got her little curly cube, but everything is so dreaded and twisted because she just doesn't take care of herself because she's, you know, straight off the street. She's homeless. So, you know, the worse she looks, the less likely people are to mess with her because, you know, who wants to mess with the not so good looking uh, homeless chick? Yeah, so she thought that one through pretty good. She's a pretty smart cookie, even if she's very presumptuous and kind of just takes what she wants. That's how she rolls. And then I was just drawing a chick putting on lipstick in her underwear because one won't. And I started doing these little Terry Chibi facts because I thought it was funny because I was putting on eyeliner. I was like, I'm going to doodle this. This is the most hilarious thing in the world because I always like make this terrified face when I'm putting on eyeliner. I focus so hard. It's like my mouth has to be open. And my eye is like big. I'm like, oh my God, it must be perfect. And I'm like terrified. But yeah, that's how I roll. And then I was drawing like little chibi kitty cats. And then a bird on its back. I don't even know why the bird's on its back. I've never seen a bird on its back unless it's dead. But whatever. So I'm drawing all these little chibi kitty cats for funsies. And then I did my no another chibi Terry fact about how I like kitties. Because kitty cats are my favorite. One of my favorites. And then there's Nega Haru and Nega Piper. And like I said, she's just a little whole bag. But she's adorable. I like her. I actually... Whenever I write for her, it's in, always interesting because I, there's no rhyme or reason to the way she acts. Like, I mean, I can justify it uh, psychologically, but eh, it's more fun not to. She just kind of acts the way that she acts, and she doesn't make an excuse for it. Um, then I did a quick scribble, ignore the bad anatomy, of uh, Piper and Loki. And I just always imagine, like, I've said it before, these two are like would be such great friends like criminal buddies and like she smashed a soda machine because eight or quarters and he's there and I'm, I'm just a delinquent so like he didn't stop her but he probably didn't he didn't actually do the crime she's just profiting from it because he's a delinquent i like loki not enough gameplay with loki but i do like him and then i was just doodling some stuff some chibis and like i'm trying to come up with a different style or a different fashion to do my chibis and just just to kind of build my own style instead of using like this generic anime one that I see everyone use and then I drew like my version of a Totoro 
and I love it. I think it's adorable, but it looks like a really like high bunny. And then you Johnny Bravo because you know, Johnny Bravo. Hey baby. So yeah. Um, then I wanted to draw like a ninja assassin person, so I drew a ninja assassin person. And then I did another Terry Chibi fact, and this one is about my sponge, which I have right here. Uh, Kiracho. Love him. He's a him, not a her. I want to get little pipe cleaners and put little hands on him. But uh, my friend sent me this uh, kitchen sponge as a present, and she uses hers. But I absolutely refuse. It's too cute. It's too stinking cute. I cannot wash a dish with this at all. Look at it. It's so happy. Like, it'd be happy to do my dishes for me. But I can't make it. I'm like, no, you're too cute. You're just going to be my friend. So I've had him for a couple years now or a year or so. And he's just been hanging out with me in his packaging. And I took him out finally. I was like, this thing is too cute. So I'm going to start posting pictures of it. So I've been posting pictures. Like, whenever I do a live stream, I try to include him in the pictures. But yeah, so I drew a chibi of me hugging my cute, adorable kitchen sponge. And then I was drawing more Ninja Girl, just to kind of loosen up. I drew Baby Yushu. It's no Baby Yushu. And then I drew, this. it's a scribble. It makes sense to me. This makes sense to me. I know this makes sense to anyone else. But it's um, Milo from uh, Chris Kind's series, um... Oh, Threshold? Yeah, the Threshold series. And Milo is a character in it. And um, he's he's a messenger. So he like zooms around delivering messages from God or whatever. And uh, I just imagine that he got stuck in a tree. So I made the joke that he's making. is like, uh, I thought it was a kite eating tree, but it's an angel eating tree. Ha <laughs> I get it. I know you can't really tell because their wings are different. They're not like actual wing wings. They're kind of like drapes of coloring and cloth and awesome. But yeah. I uh, kind of went with that. It was like a joke. Like I had it when I read the series like a year and a half ago. And I was going to draw like a comic based on it. But then I just never got around to it. So I just threw a quick scribble to loosen up. And it's was like, yeah. <laughs> and then I drew a little witch girl for funsies. And then I drew a picture of Prissy. And um, I can't think of his name. He's a newer character. Just 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 a second. I have to... I cannot think of his name. And I know she's if she's watching this, she's screaming it at the screen right now. And she's saying, how do you not know? Because she said it a million times when I was doing it. Oh, I can't think of his name. Well, I'm not going to say the wrong name, hoping to get it right. Oop, there's my strap. So, anyways, she claims all baby angels. But this is him in colored form. Like the green hair, kind of a coffee colored skin. I just scribbled the color on real quick because, um... I was live streaming and this was just kind of a I need to get something done doodle so I got something done and I think it turned out really cute so I sent her a copy of that just for fun and then I drew her baddie uh, Aiden he's a bad guy and uh, finally drew him um, head's a little bit too big for the body it tends to be a theme of mine but that's okay and then I drew him like as old man Aiden <laughs> But I, cut, I threw some quick color on this just because I thought it looked pretty decent. And then Prissy and Ransom, even though Ransom kind of looks like Durr, he's giving her a kiss on the forehead. And then um, her making fun, like he, she says something about his nose kind of being like an overpowering feature of his. But then I put a uh, thing where she's like, but your eyebrows, because she likes his eyebrows. And then Koji is up here because these two, yeah, but Koji's up here kind of expressing his opinion. I like Koji. And then last page here, this is it. Um, this is a contest entry. This is um, Go from, uh, oh, I forget whose character he is. Eh. But it's part of a contest for the uh, Seven Deadly Sins, and he's supposed to represent Wrath. Don't mind my... Hacking. I'm trying to look up the artist real quick because I don't want to be rude. And, um, well, I guess I'm already rude for not remembering right away what, who the artist was. But, um, yeah, his name is Go, and he's supposed to represent Wrath. So I kind of went with, like, a just kind of got in a fight, like, going to fight the world, sort of bust it up, like, bring it sort of expression, if you will. And, um, come on, I'm tapping you. 
just do what I say and um, yeah so I'm gonna do that digital I just have to get around to doing it because I'm just so lazy and then this was just like a quick little doodle up here that I um that I did I mean I want to say it was penguin-esque but again I don't want to say the wrong thing because I don't I don't want to be offensive like that like I never plan my what I'm gonna say out on my videos or anything like that and that's part of the reason why I feel like I just offend sometimes because I never know names, I never know websites or anything like that. I'm just, I'm a terrible person, I guess. But, um, yeah, so this week there, there were quite a few sketches. I've tried to devote a lot of time to sketching this week. And, um, it just, uh, and it turned out, you know, I do have a decent amount of sketches this week. I'm very happy with it. And, uh, yeah. So, I don't know. But, um, overall, I think it was a good week. Like, I got some backup sketches here. Like, if I get stumped on something, I can pull them out and work on them. And I'm happy about that. But, that is it for this week. Um, again, reminders, you know, my internet's not been working. So, uploading has been an issue, especially on YouTube, especially with these longer videos with uh, voiceovers and everything. So, I'm kind of holding off on doing them. Um, but I, I intend to start getting into more of a basic schedule here coming up pretty soon because I got to get something set up before I start school. Um, and again, I will be starting school here pretty soon. I start my reviews at the beginning of next week. I'm calling Comcast tomorrow and giving them my thoughts in the most polite way I can just to let them know it's like I'm not happy with you guys and you know I called your dude and he didn't he didn't show up so that's not cute that's not cute <laughs> I know exactly what the problem is but I guess it's good that they didn't show because we found a huge paper wasp nest out there that uh Aaron just took care of so yeah yeah he knocked it down and killed them tonight so hopefully they're dead because <laughs> if they're just out there and angry and I have to go outside tomorrow it's gonna be pretty bad but yeah, okay, so if you enjoyed the video and liked what you saw, please feel free to like and subscribe and leave a comment or a thumbs up. I like thumbs ups. Um, I am just going to toss this in there as a reminder as I am doing a contest once I get 100 viewers. And as of today, I am six away. So six more people. And I am going to have a random contest where I draw two names and you get some prizes. So... Um, you know, if you subscribe, you know, the sooner we hit that numbers and, um, as soon as I hit 100, I'm going to go to my subscriber wall and I'm going to screenshot everybody's name and it's just going to be those first hundred people. Um, just because I feel like I should, you know, try to keep the contest limited to those people since, you know, they, they joined and everything. But if it's like 101 or 102, I'm not going to exclude one or two people just because, but it, it's creeping up there pretty slow so I imagine that I'll be exactly at 100 for a little bit but yeah as soon as I catch that then I'll go ahead and do um the random drawing and I'm excited for that because you know I've been wanting presents all summer and I haven't gotten any so I'm like I, I hope I can just give somebody random presents that I don't know it'll make me feel a little bit better but yeah so again hit that like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video